What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Tuesday to you guys. I am so super excited today because I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my new campground setup. It is completely different. I am absolutely in love with it, and I'm going to walk you guys through the entire setup. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's start with giving you guys a walk around the outside and I'll explain to you guys what it is that you are looking at. All right guys, this is my brand new campground home. Check it out. I'll walk you guys all the way around. Then I'll take you guys in the inside So you guys can see. All of it. This is a, the front of it. As you can see, it is absolutely humongous. It's big. So now let me talk a little bit about the structure of it. It is two pieces, which was my blue canopy, which I've already had. And then I bought the Easy Up uh, tent, which is the whole bottom structure of it. I'll show you guys on the inside where it's connected. Now, I didn't show you guys the setup because this thing was a beast to set up for the first time. I had to ask for some help and Amazon delivered it late in the evening. I had about 30 minutes of daylight and decided to give it a shot and set it up. I ended up finishing uh, at night, so it was not a fun experience setting this up i will however at my next campground or when i uh after my cruise and come back here how i set this up but for now this is the setup so let me walk you guys around again and show you some of the outside amenities so to speak all right this is one of the features that i really like about this easy up tent is that it has a power pocket and as you can see, I have my orange extension cord that runs from the outside to the inside, which I'll show you guys once we get inside. It's really, really tight and barely noticeable if, if a cord wasn't sticking out of it. Another outside feature that I like about this Easy Up is around this way. Now this doesn't affect me but for people who have pets, this is a good feature for them. This is a This is a pet hole. So you can let your pets run in and out. And I think that was a very smart thing to incorporate on this uh, tent for uh, families that have pets and everything. Now moving around to the front, this is a huge, huge opening. That entire section can open up and will allow you to move bigger things inside of it with ease. I'll show you guys once again, all the things that I have inside. It also came with this outdoor mat, which you see right there but I put my own little carpet there as well. It is attached to the legs, so to speak, of the canopy. See, these are Velcro. And it's three on each leg of the canopy 
really, really nice. Now let's go inside. Now, this zipper. All right, guys, let's go inside and take a look. As you can see, it is huge in here. I have a trash can, my two refrigerators. Then I have my two power stations, some water, my table. Then I have my bed over to the right. I have my chair that I bought from Walmart. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Good. And I have a carpet that I put down. Now I'll step inside. This place is humongous. Look at those huge windows on each side of this Easy Up tent. Really, really nice. Now, one of the features that I love about this, or I should say another feature that I love about this Easy Up tent is that it has a screen ventilation up top on the ceiling. So when you're cooking in here, you all your smoke or whatever will not stay in the tent. It will vent outside of the tent along with the windows and everything that are in here. This, I cannot believe how huge this is. All right, now that I'm on the inside, I'm going to show you guys how to zip in, unzip in, and show all the screens on each side of this uh, tent. Let's start with the front here. you can completely open up the entire front of this tent without letting in bugs. This is a screen. So look how much openness this is and how much fresh air can come into this tent. I am in love with this whole unit here. Now on this side, it's caught on some string here. Look how open these windows are. These windows are huge. And then on this side, Look at this. <laughs> Is this not amazing or what? Look at all of this space. Look at this. This is absolutely amazing. Now, I do have a full size. This is a twin mattress that I have in here, uh, inflatable mattress. I do have a full size uh, mattress inflatable mattress back in pa in my storage and i definitely have the room in here to put a full size mattress in here and plus the full size mattress that i have is higher than this i thought just because this was a twin the only difference would be the size of it but the height of it where i can actually sit up on it at a, a normal height but this one is much lower now i did take my 
mattress, my four inch mattress from the van and put on top of there as well. Even though it's smaller than the inflatable mattress, it still gives me that extra four inches of height. But this place here is absolutely, absolutely remarkable. Now, I'm gonna talk about putting this thing up. It was, wow. As I mentioned, it it was a beast to put up. But I think I have the, uh, the gist of it now. And I think I can put it up on my own without any help. But we'll see the next campground that I go to. All right, so now that I've given you guys this tour here, which I'm still at all with it because I finished putting it up last night and I didn't really see what it looked like until uh, this morning. But I wanna go through uh, why I got this this new setup here. Okay, one of the reasons why I got this new setup, I would say the main reason why I got this new setup is because it is cheaper to rent a tent spot than the van site. Now that's here at this campground. I, um, that's that's here at this campground. I'm, uh, I don't know what's the across the board, but because other campsites don't have uh, a van site like this one does. But this site here, the tent sites here, are half the cost of the van site that I was right across the little way there. The van site was thirty or thirty five dollars per night. This tent site that I moved to is $16 per night. So it was cut in half. And that to me made the big difference. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, what, that, uh, what does that have to do with getting a whole new setup? Look at this setup here. The floor, the floor of this setup is built along, it is, it's built, it's part of the whole structure. Unlike the gazebo where it had no floor to it. This has a floor that is built as a part of the structure here. And to me, that's a big difference because like ants and even squirrels, there's not even a place where squirrels can get in here unless they scratch a hole in the, the walls or something of this. Uh, there is no netting that they're going to be able to uh, scratch a hole what well, it is but they're gonna have to climb and scratch we'll see but the point I'm making is this structure here is a better structure to keep out a lot of critters and everything and I love that because I have since I've been on this campground had my fair share of dealing with Mr. Squirrel as well as the ants that was all surrounding but I did take care of the ants, so that was not a problem. Now, I am going to be looking at tent sites a little more careful now. And this, I just, I, I honestly don't know what to say. I mean, I am at, this is the full daylight experience for me that I'm getting right now. And I can feel the breeze. Now, I didn't do the best job with putting this up. I'm quite sure there are some things or some hooks somewhere along the way, way that I missed because again, I put it in at night and I didn't go around and do a thorough look at it during the day. But all in all, I am just, I'm, I'm really, really loving this. I also wanna show you guys something that I've got that is important. So let me show you guys that. Watch Abia's video. I don't think it was her last one. I think it was the one before. And she had a, it may have been the last one. She had a surge protector on her uh, plugins and stuff. And so I went and got one of those as well. You can plug in six outlets on it. It has six outlets that you can plug in, which is great for me because I can plug in multiple things at the same time and run it. There is the uh, pocket 
the power pocket where the orange extension cord is coming through. It is attached to the it's attached to the other end of the uh, extension cord and the other end is plugged into the, the wall out outside. Now, the last thing I wanted to share with you guys before I end this video is that this tent costs 200, I want to say 220 something dollars. Now, I have another reservation for this same campground, uh, March the 7th through the 19th. And because I switched over and I did switch to get this same site that I'm at when I come back in March and because it's half the cost of the van site, they have to reimburse me about $227, something like that, <clears throat> which pays for this tent. And that's the point I wanted to make. So the tent is paid for without me actually spending any more additional money because by switching over, they owe me two hundred something dollars. This was two hundred and something dollars, so I didn't spend any additional money. This is this is lovely here, boy. This is lovely. I wish I had my full size bed. That would just be it. But I did sleep really well last night on the the smaller bed, though. But this is really nice. Really, really nice. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Um, I will put the link of this easy up in the um, description. I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but I'll put it across the screen that this is not a sponsored video for easy up whatsoever. I just enjoy uh, or am enjoying this easy up. And this is only my first day with it. Now, I will also mention before I let you guys go that uh, this is probably going to retain a lot of heat. Um, it's probably not going to be the best in cool weather. So you're definitely probably going to need some type of heating source uh, in the uh, cooler weather when the nights get a little chilly or whatever. But that's an easy solution. But all right, guys, that's going to do it. I am so, so excited to continue my campground lifestyle, so to speak. <laughs> and with this new easy up tent as always guys thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos i appreciate you guys i mean just look at the view i appreciate you guys you know that and i'll see you guys the next time